well, the title is so nice. You do it once, you want to do it twice. <laughs> and it has happened here. Maxime, congratulations on guaranteeing yourself at least a tie for the Sinkfield Cup. It must feel really sweet to accomplish this. Uh, it is, especially as I had a tough year in general. I've been putting my play back together basically since July and my my play, my results uh, have improved and uh, yeah, here's the culmination of all the efforts I, I made, uh, you know, to to get back in, in good shape. You had a tough game against Lanier and no one has ever lost a game at the Singfield Cup and won the title. What made you so tenacious and determined to win it all? Um, well, I knew I was playing well. I was not making many mistakes, if any. I mean, of course, against Lanier, I did make one mistake, but um, I mean, apart from the fact that I confused the lines, uh, it was impossible over the board to predict that this was a mistake. Same against Fabi, I think I made one mistake at one point, but it was just impossible to to assess uh, the mistake properly uh, from a human po point of view. So in general, I've been playing as good as I've ever played, and uh, that gave me confidence. How do you contextualize this win versus the first time? Oh, it's absolutely different. Um, the first time it was, uh, and what, first of all, I haven't won yet, mm -hmm. <laughs> but... Uh, I mean, you at least tied for first. That's at least tied for first, of course. That uh, still counts uh, very much for me, but uh, it's not exactly the same, of course. And uh, yeah, last time I managed, uh, I mean, I had to win the last game to, to win clear first, and... Uh, and I did, but um, yeah, last time I was really eager to prove my worth, basically. And in general, in the past few years, I've proven my worth, uh, even though um, like this first half of the year was uh, I was playing uncharacteristically bad. Um, so it feels more like uh, redemption. So it, it is quite nice. Redemption, great word. You, I think you're back in the top 10 in the world where you belong uh, with this performance. Uh, talk to us about, about play, coming in last place, tied for last, in Bucharest. Well, you couldn't have imagined that it would be this long haul back. And you come in second, you win this tournament for one, and also come in second place in the Grand Chess Tour, an extra 50K. Yeah, it feels uh, absolutely great, I have to say. Um, of course, in Bucharest, I had extenuating circumstances for my players. I was feeling uh, sick during basically the whole tournament, and this definitely didn't help. But uh, yeah, my um, my play uh, has come a long way since uh, Bucharest. Mm -hmm. uh, will you be celebrating or waiting eagerly to see the results of these games? Uh, I'll be chilling. I mean, it's <laughs> it's good uh, uh, to not have to, to suffer the whole day, of course, and, uh, but um, yeah, I'll be waiting to see, to see what they do, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna stand every second in front of the computer to, to see any mistake from, from my uh, colleagues. So no, I'll, I'll be chilling and uh, whatever happens, happens from there. I hear they have a couple of nice pools at the chess houses, you might be able to chill by the pool <laughs> and relax. Congratulations on a fantastic performance. Thank you, Maurice.